In today's video, we're going to be looking at a 3D printed servo motor linear actuator. Let's get started. First, let's get out a few boxes. Here, I've got my motor slash power box. And inside of here, we're going to be needing a battery. We're going to be needing the parts for our linear actuator and we're going to be needing a surfer motor. Besides that, we're also going to be needing breadboard, a cord program on an Arduino Uno, the Arduino Uno, and that is it, plus a 9 volt battery. Now, let's grab, I'll grab some wires. We've got our wires. So let's put this all together. First, let's put the server motor with this. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to put our gear in here. We're going to, our server motor goes in like this. This piece goes through the bottom like this. Then, the server motor fits in here like this and that interlocks. Good, there we go. Now, let's put our battery in here. Good, that's it. Now, make sure that this is off. You never want to keep that on while you're wiring. But, this is going to get plugged into red, or positive, of course, and this is going to get plugged into negative. Then, from our servo motor, we're going to take negative, this is negative, and we're going to put it into negative on here, on our breadboard. From positive, I'm going to go from positive to breadboard positive. And finally, with our signal pin, I'm going to grab our Una. And you need to plug this into one of the PWM or pulse width modulation pins. I will just use 10. And that is actually all of our wiring done. We won't be needing these wires. Now, let's jump over to the, over to the computer and program it. This is the program that we're going to be running on our Arduino. If you've used a servo motor before, you'll recognize this. This is very, very similar to what you find in the files, example, and servo and it's going to be sweep. The main difference right here is whichever PWM or pulse width modulation pin you're gonna be using. Now, the reason I'm using this program is this is a very simple demonstration program for a server motor. I could have done something more complicated, but why reinvent the wheel when there's already a very good demo program? So, this will get you started. If you need to do a more advanced program, of course you can always code that yourself. Anyway, let's run it. Before we run this program, I just want to point out a few things I discovered before running this program, which is, first of all, my old cable stopped working. I needed a new board because there were having some problems, just so you can see that these are, why these are different. And also something that is important is you will need to have a wire from going from the ground on the Arduino to the ground on the breadboard. All right, now 
let's run this. Let's give the servo power and let's plug in the Arduino. And here you go. You can see it's going back and forth between those both both of those sides. If I put my finger here, you can see it's doing that. Now, what's important to recognize about this is that this is not super strong. So, while it might seem like a servo motor is strong, in comparison to something like a piston or even just a solenoid, this is still not all that strong. A design could, a special design could make this stronger, but if you really want a lot of strength, you're going to want to get a more expensive piston. But if you're just trying to move some basic things, like maybe some other 3D printed parts, this is really perfect. So I'll link this in the description below. Now, if you're planning on printing this, just go to the link, print it out, and have fun. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe, and maybe maybe even share. All of those things really, really help me out, and it'd be really supportive to do that. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye.